What's up everybody, if you that don't know me, my name is Chris, AKA Mr. Grow It, and welcome to my channel. IPM, Integrated Pest Management, let's talk a little bit about it. I actually did a podcast episode uh, several weeks back on IPM. Uh, for those of you who don't know, I do have a podcast. It's actually not just me, there's two other content creators here on YouTube that are on the podcast as well. I'll link that podcast episode down in the description section below if you're looking for more details on IPM. In this episode, I'm gonna show you an easy IPM spray that I use from time to time. I personally like to use essential oils when I'm spraying down my plants to try to prevent pests. There are many different sprays that you can use in order to deter pests. In this video, I'm gonna show you just one. I'm gonna use peppermint. Peppermint is known to deter uh, aphids, spiders, gnats, uh, mosquitoes, moths, caterpillars, beetles, uh, am I forgetting any? Oh, ants and flies too. So it can be a very, very powerful spray and uh, it's pretty easy to do. So in this video, I'm gonna show you exactly what I do. Just quick disclaimer before we get into the video, just like every video I gave that disclaimer. I'm just documenting what I'm doing. This is for educational as well as entertainment purposes only. This isn't everything there is to know about IPM or everything there is to know about spraying your plants. So always do more research beyond this YouTube video. All right, let's get into it. Let's jump right into the recipe that I use. So I use this 48 ounce sprayer. This is by Chapin. I've got some RO water here, Dr. Bronner soap, by the way, I'll link these products in the description section below. One teaspoon, and of course your essential oil. I'm gonna use peppermint today. All right, the first thing to do is fill up the sprayer with water. I highly recommend you use filtered water, whether it be reverse osmosis, uh, distilled, store-bought filtered water. Definitely use one of those things over tap water. Tap water has chlorine and sometimes even chloramine in it, which kill off the beneficial microbes in the soil. So after you put water into the sprayer, uh, by the way, I used 32 ounces of water. Next, pop open the Dr. Bronner soap. For 32 ounces of water, I use one teaspoon of soap. After that, I'm gonna drop in five drops of essential oil. And just to give you a heads up, there are several recipes out there. Some call for more drops than what I've mentioned. Some call for less drops than what I've mentioned. Five drops in 32 ounces of water is just what seems to work best for me. So feel free to experiment and adjust that. All right, now I'm gonna screw the cap back on the chap in, give it a good shake. I'm gonna pump the top of the chap in, get it all loaded up, ready to go. And now let's head on over to the plants. All right, getting right in there, spraying the top of the plant, adjusting the nozzle so the spray comes out a little bit differently. Trying to get the leaves as evenly as possible, kind of shake it around a little bit there. Uh, now I'm getting the underside of the leaves, so just kind of using my hands to lightly flip it up, flip up each leaf individually and spraying at the same time. The goal is to spray the entire plant, so flipping those leaves up to make sure it gets underneath is definitely important. By the way, it is recommended to do this before lights go off. And uh, what? Well, lights just went off. So I'm gonna hurry up and spray this other plant here. Okay, now that the plants are sprayed, I am gonna show you 24 hours later. So these are what the plants look like uh, exactly 24 hours later. All of them are fine. None of them are burnt. Uh, apparently if you use too much of these essential oils, if you use like the wrong ratio, it could potentially harm the plant. So you do have to be careful there. But all of these plants in this specific ratio that I just told you didn't cause any burning and all the plants appear to be happy. So how often should you use this? How often should you spray your plants? Most come to the consensus that it should be done on a weekly basis. Another thing that I've read that I thought was pretty interesting is that you should use up different oils each week. So for example, I shouldn't use peppermint this week, next week, and the week after. Pests can kind of get used to it, and it doesn't really work to deter as well. So in order to avoid that, uh, you can use peppermint one week, maybe next week you use rosemary, the week after that you use uh, lavender. Then at that point, you could probably go back to peppermint. And so just kind of rotating around is your best bet uh, in order to deter pests. The last thing to mention is that you should really only be spraying your plants like this when they're in the vegetation stage. It's best not to spray your plants when they're in flowering. What oils or what methods do you use in order to deter pests? 
let me know in the comment section below. For those of you who don't know, there is now a paperback version of my book. It is available on Amazon only. I hope to have it available on my website within a few months. It covers the basics on growing indoors using either soil or coca coir. If you do end up picking up from Amazon, please leave a review. Uh, just about to pass 100 reviews on Amazon. That's super exciting for me. It's my ultimate goal to get to 500 reviews, so we're quite a ways away from that. But I'm sure with the help of you all out there, we will be able to get to it pretty quickly. So thank you to everyone who has left a review on it. That's pretty much it for this video, guys. If you enjoyed it, please click that thumbs up, and I will leave it at that. Thank you so much for watching, and until next time, peace.